as an engineer's point of view, you know, we're looking at a part that can be removed from a mold. Absolutely. Right? It needs to have draft. It, it's this, you know, the, the analogy is the sand, the sand castle, right? If you're packing sand into a mold, you got to be able to remove it to build your sand castle. Same way in the casting industry, you have to be able to remove the part. It has to be drafted all the way around. Uh, there's a lot of other standards out there. And, you know, uh, one a good example, and we can probably forward this on, is the Aluminum Association standards for uh, sand and permanent mold castings. I think there's one for uh, die casting also. Uh, but it's it's kind of this, this standard literature that the whole industry uses, and it's, it's a good resource for engineers to help understand what are the potentials or what are the uh, tolerances that I can achieve and the industry standards to design for castings. You know, I think there's uh, there's also some processes, again, when, you know, you're working with the caster uh, as a customer as well, you know, to really develop that part and that mold up front to, to eliminate any kind of, you know, some of the, the issues that we talked about earlier from porosity to shrinkage, things of that nature. So using like a finite element analysis process uh, to really develop that part and that mold before even cutting a tool uh, in permanent mold or, or looking at a sand casting or die casting tool.